Hi there, this is a super short video about the Google I.O. recap for the Flutter talks over at Google I.O. Now, if you haven't dived into Flutter much yet, then I definitely would suggest that it's an awesome sort of mobile web, whatever framework that you want to call it. And there's not too many resources out there, and especially there isn't many conference talks about it, but this uh, Google I.O. that was recently on has some interesting talks that you may want to investigate. So the first one where I found quite decent was the Build Mobile Apps with Flutter and Google Maps. The talk by Brett Morgan and of course Matthew Sullivan is a great resource to get started with the concepts and possibilities of Google Maps and Flutter. So this should of course give you some examples of what's possible with a native functionality such as Maps. As well as that, we move on to the pragmatic state management in Flutter. So this here is probably one of the core things to consider when you start thinking about Flutter applications. And they recommend the provider pattern. I've created a few videos that are either up at the moment or they'll be up soon uh, regarding the provider pattern and how we can take advantage of that inside of our Flutter apps. This one definitely worth watching if you're a Flutter developer or if you want to be a Flutter developer and want to know how to manage your state. When we look at Beyond Mobile, building Flutter apps for iOS, Android, and Chrome OS, as well as the web, this one is more of a sort of overview of all the potentials for Flutter. It's good to kick back with some coffee and simply just uh, watch the possibilities of how Flutter can be adaptable for uh, multiple different platforms. It was one I definitely enjoyed, especially considering the Flutter for web and the potentials that that may bring in the future. Definitely one I would watch if you're interested in the potentials for Flutter and of course what it is capable of. We go down to Beyond Mobile Material Design, Adaptable UIs and Flutter. Once again, it's about adaptability, adapting for different platforms, whether it be the web, foldable phones, whether it be Apple Watch, any sort of platform, TV, you can name it. It's about adapting your Flutter application and thinking about it instead of just being a mobile framework. Finally, we look at building for iOS with Flutter and this essentially looks at the exploration of the iOS widgets, which is the Cupertino styles. You may have seen that Flutter in most likely all of the examples is going to be using the material app style. And most of the time you don't really see too much of how iOS looks. This talk, Definitely worth a watch if you're liking to respect all of the platforms and their design choices when making your mobile apps with Flutter. Finally, this is a sort of aside, and this is about Dart, a productive, fast, multi-platform pick three. So Google is definitely going all in on Dart, and they think that's going to be a great language, and I honestly agree with them. It's a really good user experience when it comes to developing apps like Flutter. I initially thought I would be put off with the way that the Flutter sort of markup works, but actually I really like it and I think it's awesome. Uh, so if you want to get into Dart more, you want to learn about how it works, this video is definitely worth watching. So the most interesting one that I found was of course the pragmatic state management right here. This one is definitely if the most practical that allows you to just jump in, get some sort of knowledge that will allow you to make some actionable changes inside of your Flutter development apps. So let me know in the comment section below which talk you found to be most useful and of course, until next time, thanks a lot for watching. This has been a sort of different video than I usually make. I hope you found it useful, at least on some degree. Until next time, I'll see you very soon. Bye.